Tonight, family members remembered loved ones lost in last Saturday's sudden flooding in Bucks County. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Marcella Bayeto has more on the emotional ceremony. After a choir sang in front of a sea of candles, Dahlia Galindez, the grandmother of two-year-old Maddie and nine-month-old Conrad Shields and mother of Katie Seeley spoke for the first time in front of an emotional crowd after surviving the devastating flash flood. It's an absolute miracle. I guess I get to stay here for a while. Um, kind of wanted to be with Katie and, and the children, but that wasn't my choice. Galindez shared her experience of fighting for her life on July 15th when powerful waters inundated Route 532. We got out of the car, the water was up to my shin. I took a few steps and I was swept under the guardrail um, along with my daughter Katie and our grandchildren. Other family members not only thanked the community for their support, but also were grateful for all the hard work of first responders and those who continue to search for the remains of Conrad Shields. It's a great consolation to our families to know that this tragedy has touched the hearts of people around the world. You go love. Here at the Garden of Reflection, which honors the victims of 9-11, those who perished in last weekend's flood were honored. One by one, all seven victims' names were called as torches were lit in their honor. Dave Love, the husband of 64-year-old Yuko Love, shared a few words in Japanese to first responders. Arigato Thank you for all that you did. Just hope that, that the community that they felt here and, and all of us coming together, um, you know, gave them some sense of peace and also, um, you know, hope for, for the future. At the end of the ceremony, family members placed flowers in front of their loved ones' torches, symbolizing that even in dark times, there was still light. In Yardley, Marcella Bayetto, CBS News, Philadelphia.